Let's have some beer! What are you going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we have got another Quebec beer. Yay! There's this one and two more left in the fridge, and then they are done for at least a little while. This is a bottle of uh, Trèfle Noir by Le Trèfle Noir out of Ruyen Noranda. Yeah, the place I can't pronounce. In Quebec, this is their stout coming in at 5.8% ABV. And like this is like, I guess, the beer that they got their name from, it says over here. The beer that gave us our name. So, I don't know. It's a stout brewed on the 23rd of May. It is barely a month old at this point. It should be all kinds of just fine. It's a stout. If this is on par with some of the more horrific Quebec beers I have had recently, I'm not going to be an impressed individual. Bottle opener, I didn't think I was going to be able to find it quickly, but it's right there. We're all good. So I'll show you the incredible artwork on the bottle cap. You have to have special eyes to see it. Yeah, that's right. Um, and uh, let's see. Huh? That's a no. That's a negative on that one. And let's see what we got. Nice little bit of smoke there coming out of the bottle. Make sure we get some decent head to form on there as well. That would be appreciated. Don't be an asshole, beer. Pour nice for me. Pour nice for Red Beard. That's don't be an asshole. Okay, we're gonna be okay. A picture. That is pretty damn dark, and we will find out just how dark. Oh, really? Really? No, none at all. All the way to the bottom. Maybe a tiny, tiny hint of a like deep, deep red off to the side near the bottom. But that's that's dark, and the head isn't as dark as I would think it would be for how dark the beer is. But it's it's not white. It's definitely got a a, a, a hue to it. That smells all right. Roasty, coffee, chocolate. Smells like a stout. Head on my nose. Let's give her a shot. Wow. That's... That's up there on the bitterness for a stout. But... Mmm. The roasty flavor in there is like it's like I it's it's as if I just put a like not a handful cuz a handful would probably make it so I couldn't even chew, but like three or four roasted coffee beans in my mouth and chewed them with maybe a little piece of chocolate. That's the overall lingering effect in my mouth and I like it. This brewery right here, Le Trefle Noir. The two IPAs I had were not even a little bit impressive, but overall, like uh, Le Tour du Diable, I believe it was three beers from them that I had. One of them wasn't vlogged, but all three were not anything like they should have tasted in the slightest. And the uh, Docker beers, both of those were uh, big thumbs down. So like this, this brewery overall is kind of the saving grace of the trip to Quebec that was taken with Marcel. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And why not? Here, cheers to you, Marcel. You know, it was it was a fun, enjoyable trip, even though the end result was not as awesome as I initially thought it was. I had fun hanging out with you, going to the beer shops, and getting the accidentally getting like the kids' burger basically at the goddamn restaurant. That was on me. I like that. Really, it's almost like a porter. Like the roastiness is there, makes it kind of stout-like, but the uh, smoothness and kind of carbonation level in the mouth, the mouth feel overall, I guess you would say, makes it seem almost like a porter. I like it. I cannot recall the name of the restaurant that was in Temiskaming that Marcel and I went to. Like the main, one of the main kind of, on the main drag going through, Main place has nice patio at front. 
cannot recall the name of it, but the bur even though I had the there was like a burger menu kind of on the menu, a burger menu, a menu within the menu, and there were like all the kind of named burgers that had all these weird toppings and stuff. And I just wanted like you know a burger, you know some lettuce, maybe some onion, no tomato ever, ketchup mustard, you know, a burger. Well-made burger and it was a well-made tasty burger, but it, for some reason the original burger whatever I ordered Is a smaller patty than the one Marcel ordered some thing with like fried mushrooms or something on it that, ugh, Mushrooms are not a thing for the meat, but he enjoyed his quite verily as well And now I want to think of what the hell the restaurant's name was there's the uh, the treflenoir.ca, isn't it? Yeah, no, dot .com, because I'm a fool. We'll bring you to treflenoir.com. Which freaking page? Why are you backwards? That's not cool. You get over there. You get over there. Are you serious right now? They won't. Okay, Windows is being mildly mentally ill at the moment. I wanted to go like this and say, Temiskaming. I guess that'll work probably. Hmm? Load faster. There you go. Not Lake Timiskaming. Don't be an asshole. Oh, you're gonna piss me off. You son of a bitch. Timiskaming, Quebec. Q. E. 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 B. E. K. E. Spelled? So I spelled it wrong. How do you spell it? Oh, it has a C instead of a K. It's like scamming. Timiskaming. That's kind of interesting. Um, this is just pissing me off. I found it so easy last time. Canada Google Satellite Map Temiskaming Maps. It's, it's, it's not Google though. You're, you're pissing me off. I'm just going to click on the Google Map right now. Right now. And I'm going to go down to where, where was it? It was fucking over here somewhere. Don't zoom in that fast. I swear to God. I swear to God. Or even Mattawa, so it's like way over here. What's even happening right now? But no, not Mattawa. It's the wrong fucking highway. It's over here, 63, Timiskaming. Hello! Hello there! Hello town I'm looking for, how are you? Are you doing okay? Esso, um... I don't know, give me a fucking street view right now. Insanity. Yeah, I made the uh, conscious decision that a bunch of that, that's just going to be cut. I'm not doing it. It's good. There we go. Tem rows. Okay, we can do this, and I'll go like this, and you go over there, and we go kapa. That is the place right there. The outside of it is very unassuming. We were on the patio, Marcel and I, and the black flies were getting to be a bit... The black flies and freaking deer flies were actually trying to eat me, so we went inside. Really nice place inside. Like, it just kind of looks unassuming and not that, you know, like a, a place. But when you go inside there, it's modern and updated and like very, I feel like it's very recently renovated. It's really, really nice inside. So, yeah, it took way too long, but I got my little shout out to the restaurant that fed us food while we were in the Quebec. And at this point, I have been recording for 15 minutes, and I'm pretty sure about 6 minutes of that is going to be cut from existence. But regardless, I'm not sure where I am, so I'm going to play it safe and uh, enjoy a fair bit of this beer over on the couch. This be a pretty damned good example of a stout. I like it. A bit more bitter than most stouts I think I've had but at the same time it, it, it's almost along the lines of a bit of a black IPA but it's still really really tasty right. it's warmed up a good deal now and uh, still a fan let's bring back the website for the brewery I guess that'd be a thing to do let's close that oh, that was there you go yeah yeah, and then you will go like that, and we'll give some ratings. Untapped, 1,121 ratings overall, 3.65 out of 5. Beer Advocate gives it a 3.9 out of 5. 
that's up there for sure. 26 ratings overall. And rate beer has 3.37 out of 5. 6, 59, not 69. It looks like a 6. Overall. Uh, yeah, so. Apparently it's an oatmeal stout, according to whatever I read here. I didn't even read that, did I? Terrible, look at me go. Failing all over the place. Trefle Noir, or Black Clover, is a stout that fills the mouth with flavor and features rich aromas of coffee, toasted bread, and black chocolate. I don't know what black chocolate is. That's kind of weird. A firm bitterness balances the sweet and roasty notes. The head is a generous, thick foam that lingers in the glass. It's the beer that gave us our name. Yeah, black chocolate. That's something I've never in my life heard before. That, that, that's a term that's like, I know dark chocolate, milk chocolate, baker's chocolate, white chocolate, black chocolate. Sure, why not? The drink number the last. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. I want to, not my favorite beer from this brewery. I want to say a uh, bit of a toss up. I want to say that Goze Buster, Goza Buster, was probably the highest one up there. The other one would have been that Berliner Weiss. Those were both really nice. Just a bit more, I don't know, tasty overall. But this, again, very good example of a stout style. I guess I just like. Sour beer. I, I love me a sour beer. And both those were very good examples of a sour beer. Overall, aside from those two IPAs, this brewery making some really, really tasty shit. In my most opinion. This particular beer, Le Trefle Noir, from Le Trefle Noir, uh, that's that's a very good 8.5. Nah, let's go 8.25. Ingredients would have made it 8.75. Keep it in that kind of range. But it's really good. Good stuff. Enjoy it. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then hit the like button. It's a nice thing to do and stuff. I've got a random itch in my nose. It's always good timing. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit the bell notification thing. I'm going to watch it so you know when new videos are released. And if you got some saving comments, go in the box down below. Thanks again. I'll be back with another building vlog tomorrow. A uh, piece of for the beer of the today. We have got the penultimate, I guess you'd say, bottle. No, actually, there's still two more, so not quite yet. There's uh, this is the third of three. No, we're doing that again. That was fucking terrible, terrible. All right, we have got a bottle. There's three left. Well, there's going to be two left once this is done. Quebec beer is going on again. Yet again. No, are you serious with that shit right now? That's not cool. Son of a boss. Every son of every bitch. Okay.